Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Congratulations, Connor. Finding that deviant was far from easy. And the way you interrogated it was very clever. You've been remarkably efficient, Connor. Thank you, Amanda. We've asked the DPD to transfer it to us for further study. It may teach us something about what happened. The interrogation seemed challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the Deviancy case. What do you make of him? I would define him as dysfunctional. He obviously has a personal situation impacting his professional behavior and seems to have no interest in the investigation. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I don't have enough data to decide that yet. I'll learn more about him and try to adapt my behavior accordingly. More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Hey. Take a look at these samples yet? Lab report says they cut it with something. Maybe they're trying out a new form of red ice. We really need the forensics. Excuse me. 
Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Look at that. Our friend, the plastic detective, is back in town. Congratulations on last night. Very impressive. Hello. My name is Connor. Never seen an android like you before. Model, are you? RK-800. I'm a prototype. A prototype? Android detective. So a machine's gonna replace us all. Is that it? Hey, bring me a coffee, dipshit. Get a move on! I gave you an order. I'm sorry, but I only take orders from Lieutenant Anderson. Oh, oh. <laughs> when a human gives you an order, you obey. Got it? Stay out of my way. Next time, you won't get off so easy. Several sources report that CyberLife has provided police with a prototype type detective android. Although police assistant androids have existed for several years, this would be the first case. Contacted CyberLife, but no one was available to answer our questions. The first book written by artificial intelligence has. What are you looking at? Hey, fuck you!
It's good to see you again, Lieutenant. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! of assault. This isn't just cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. No fucking way! I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. Has to say to you, okay. huh? Okay, I'll pretend like I didn't hear that, so I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, cause it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. I'm very pleased to have joined the team. I can assure you I'll do my very Close best. Close the door on your way out. Have a nice day, Captain. It's an honor to be working with you, Lieutenant. I'm sure we'll make a great team. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Now that we're partners, it would be great to get to know each other better. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one.
You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hair's on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah, too long. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. Terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. Forty-three files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX-400 is reported to have murdered a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. ask for this investigation, Lieutenant, but I'm sure you're a professional. Why don't you go fuck yourself? I've been assigned this mission, Lieutenant. I didn't come here to wait until you feel like working. Listen, asshole. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Uh, Lieutenant? I'm sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that killed the guy last night. It's been sighted in the Ravendale district. I'm on it.
I'm sorry, I didn't mean to wake you. So it wasn't a nightmare? No. No, it wasn't a nightmare. You must be starving. You should take a bath, and then we'll go out and find you something to eat. What do you say? Okay. I'll run you a bath. You're pretty like that. You really look like a human now. Your bath's ready. The victim's name was Todd Williams, an unemployed man from Corktown. According to initial reports, he was shot by his android, an AX-400. The android fled the scene, and a police search is now in progress. Reporting live for Channel 16 News, I'm Josh Douglas. You had no choice. He would have killed me if you hadn't stopped him. What are we going to do? We have nowhere to go. And the police are looking for us now. We can't stay here. We don't have any money. Do you have any family? Anyone who could help us? No. It was just dad. 
That android yesterday, he gave me an address. He said we could get help there. Could be worth a try. We can't change the past, Alice. But we can decide the future. We're gonna pull through, and soon all this will just be a bad memory. Finish getting ready. I'll go out and find some food for you, and then we can get going. Lieutenant Anderson, Detroit Police. Looking for a female android robbed a store down the road last night. You seen anything? An android? No. I don't take androids here. Have you seen anyone that looks like this? Fuck. I knew there was something weird about her. She came in last night. She was dressed normal, you know? There was no way I could tell. Is it still here? Yeah, probably. Room 28. Thank you. <sighs> Yeah, still at the motel. Send some uniforms and cordon off the area. You wait in the car. I think it's best if I go with you. Listen, I'm tired of you talking back to me. You're a machine, so shut the fuck up and do what I say. All I want is to accomplish my mission. I'm sorry if that upsets you. You want to see the end of your mission? Stop busting my fucking balls. It's gone.
on street. Please respond. Over. Okay. 